What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So it is currently 11:30 p.m. on a Thursday. We were just about to go to bed until I just remembered Timbit is being neutered. Being neutered or getting getting neutered? Is getting Dude, ball shot off. His testicles will be removed tomorrow. We decide to do this because... Bills, why did we decide to do this? Because he's never finding love. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're so shy, Tibbs! That's not true. You can find Show it. everyone what's going... <laughs> <laughs> what? Tim, what? 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 say bye to everyone. Tim, say bye to this. Say bye to what? To this. <laughs> Ew! <gasps> you did not! We'll see you guys tomorrow when we bring him into the fit. <laughs> <laughs> Say swear? To God, he just did that! Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning, Tims. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Today is a big day of Timbit surgery. Um, Do not mind my hair. I literally just woke up. I think someone's a little excited to go. Also, all of the leaves are falling off and they're turning orangey brown. Winter is upon us. Why am I getting honked at? Time to put your big boy patties on, Tims. <laughs> someone is a little excited, I think. That's to get his balls chopped off. He's just excited to see people. Hey. Why, 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 what the f Go complain. We got a brekkie. Cinnamon raisin bagel. Upset person. <laughs> My keys are. Timbit surgery is... I didn't realize it would take so long. It's... What time is it now? 8? 9 a.m.? He's doing his neutering, but also he's getting a tooth removed. We won't be able to pick him up until later in the afternoon. Like 4 of 4 or 5, I think they said. He'd be there for like 8, 9 hours. He had to... Um... What's it called? Oh, fast. He had to fast. So he didn't eat breakfast today and he's not gonna eat lunch. The poor guy's starving. Anyways, see you guys later. I'm going to pick up Tim's now. I don't know why, but we're a little nervous. Timbit, how was your surgery, bud? They said he'd be a little drowsy, but he does not seem drowsy at all. He's freaking crazy. Timbot, are you happy? Let's see your balls. See your missing balls, my love. <laughs> you did so good, bud. Um, excuse me, sir. Please don't lick my tripod. It is now 9 p.m. After we brought Tim home, we all took a nap. We all passed out for like three, four hours. We did feed Tim his dinner already with the poor guy. He was fasting, I think, for almost 18 hours. He didn't eat breakfast or lunch. And then we did give him dinner, but he's only supposed to eat a very, very, very small amount because you're supposed to slowly add it back into their diet. He hasn't eaten much right now. Right now, I'm just gonna give him a little bit more food so I can mix it into his painkillers. And then hopefully, he'll have a good recovery. Stay. Speak. Ah! Go. Poor guy has to wear this cone for two weeks. Bill just got back from a laser tag session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little upset. Tim's happy that daddy's back home. Yeah. He got McDonald's. First of all, first of all, they ran out of sweet and sour sauce. How does a McDonald's run out of sweet and sour sauce? Bill's got some chicken nuggets, but the box, the packaging is different. And the box is green, no? I think. I think it's been a while since you've had McDonald's. Let me find a picture and I will insert it. Because this is not what the McDonald's chicken nuggets look like. Did you know? <laughs> did you know that McDonald's chicken nuggets come in four distinct shapes? One's so. Yes, one's a boot. I know this one's the boot, okay? And then there's a bowl, and then there's like a drumstick chicken looking thin thing. And then I forgot the fourth shape is. You know what the fourth shape is? What is What'd you get? Ooh, Big Mac. Mmm. We are in bed now. Tim's so sad. I know they said that this behavior was normal after surgery. I mean, it was a pretty big surgery for him. I'm so used to him being so happy and crazy all the time and see him like this. For the past few hours, it makes me feel so sad. He's supposed to get back to his normal self in two days. 
We have another person here in pain. He got whacked in the face and laser tag with the gun. And those guns are pretty heavy. They're like 15 pounds. 15? You said one fire? 30 pounds? So like 50. Oh, you're so dramatic. Let's see, let's see your bruise be. No! <laughs> it's a little swollen and red, but he's icy. Oh, that is not, it looks pretty bad. He's icing it now. <laughs> My two boys in pain. So sad. We're gonna go to sleep now. <coughs> Smelly. Good morning. Happy Saturday. We went to bed at like two ish. Tim's three. Three? Poor Tim's was struggling to sleep. He kept moving. He couldn't get comfortable. And then we thought he'd be more comfy in his kennel. So we put him down there. But then he started crying. So then we brought him back up to our bed. See you good morning to them, bud. See you good morning to them. Today, I don't know what we're doing. We have groceries to buy. More? <laughs> we have crocs to buy yes you guys i want to get a pair of crocs they're so in right now everything that's from the past is coming back in because my grandpa still has crocs yeah, army ones army ones and orange ones oh my gosh yes i wear them when i go to this house crocs are coming back in bell bottoms are coming back in those new balance shoes are in you have no idea what you're about. yeah so we have gersh uh no no, no. No, we have dishes to do. Dishes, dishes, dishes. We need to get our life together because our house is a bit of a mess. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I made peanut butter and jelly stuffed french toast with some bloops by Bill's reaction it does not seem to be very yummy it's the bread the bread tastes healthy yeah that's not good because of the bread the bread tastes like whole wheat bread whole wheat bread french toast is not good that's what was weird about it oh my god yeah wait his mouth is too hairy you can't see Tim hey, hey, also hey, got it. a tooth removed because he saw a baby tooth <gasps> Oh my gosh. He still had a baby tooth, so he had to get that oven removed. This poor guy went through everything at his surgery. He's still such a trooper. He's a tough pickle. You're a tough pickle, Sean. We just got back from the mall. What did we buy there? First of all, we got Potato Corner, which is like a food stall that sells just food fried and they specialize in their seasonings and whenever we go to the mall we always try to avoid that but we're never strong enough so we always end up getting potato corner and then we just went to return a charger because it's too short bills are trying to find some shoes he didn't find anything but 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 i want to talk to you guys about my addiction it is a very severe addiction it's my book addiction i don't know why but out of nowhere i suddenly have a bucket a book a book addiction ever since i got back from my trip my Europe trip I've been obsessed with books I think it started because my aunt who was also in London with me um, she started reading and then we went to a bookstore and then bearing in mind I've never really liked reading books I've always wanted to get into reading but it's just been so hard for me because I just don't like reading and you know that's when I realized that one I don't like reading because school made me hate reading and two I wasn't reading this right material I realized that now I actually genuinely love reading I'll show you the books that I've got so these are all the new books that I got this summer. <laughs> oh, I read, I think I'm on my fifth book so far for this summer, which is really good. I've never read so many books before, willingly read so many books before. The book that got me into reading this summer, I got this in London while my aunt were, and I were in, I think, Shortage. And we just walked into this bookstore and I saw this. How to Kill Your Family. Very concerning. I know you may be concerned by this title, but it's actually so good. This is what made me really, really like reading. It's such a crazy story. I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but basically this girl whose mom passed away and then her father doesn't really know about her and has abandoned her. And then he's super rich. So she goes on to killing her rich family as revenge, even though only one of them knows of her existence. Other ones don't really know that she exists. This is probably one of my most favorite books ever. 
And then I got this one because it was on display at the bookstore and it said it was like the read of the summer. I like the characters. I like the relationship between them. I like the setting, but it's not really my book. It's about these best friends who create a video game. And then it just goes on about their lives and how their relationships get entangled because two of the three love each other and another guy will secretly loves this girl. Yeah, it's okay. This one, um, the writing was okay. I think the author was meh. I am currently reading this one right now, The Therapist. I really like this one so far. I started it last night and I am more than halfway through. So I'm hoping to finish this by tomorrow. And that means I would have read five books in two months, I think, which seems pretty good to me, for me, at least. Oh, this book, this is so good. This is my new favorite author, Riley Sager. This is called The Only One Left, and it's basically about this caregiver who moves in to this super big mansion owned by this wealthy family. But that family, everyone is dead except for the daughter who is now like 71, I think. She supposedly killed her family 17 when she was 17. She's suspected to be the murderer of her family because her whole family is murdered except for her. She's the only one who survived. Lenora, the woman who supposedly killed her family, but she is now paralyzed, so she can't talk and she can't move except for her left arm. And it's just such a crazy book. I would highly, highly recommend this one. And then because I loved his book so much, I got another one of his books, The House Across the Lake. I have not read this one yet, but supposedly very, very good. Another, this one I haven't read yet. Everyone here is lying. Stephen King. I have never read any of his books before but his genre is more so i think horror slash thriller so i'm super excited to read these these ones i just got at the mall bill's got them for me i'm so happy so as you can tell hey i'm talking so as you can tell i've really been into murder mystery thriller novels and we are starting a book collection there i have so I have so many books there. Some of them we got um, for free. <laughs> Why? Why does Bill's look it? So I have, I want to say maybe 40 books. Some of them we did get for free though. I, I don't want to keep buying books without reading those books I got. But those books, like I have no interest in them. It's all romance or I don't know. They're not murder mystery. And that's all I've been reading now. I am so excited to be reading. Yes, that is my addiction. Anyways, we, what are we doing now? Billy is getting Bill's, ooh, I said Billy. Bill's, Bill's is getting his, he's getting his windows tinted. So we're just waiting for his car to finish. And then my family, they're coming over for a game of Clank. If you've watched my previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. It's this stupid board game that we are all so addicted to because we play for money. So they're coming over later and then we're gonna play that. I don't know what we're gonna do in the meantime. I really wanna finish this book. We need to give you a little update on Tim's. Tim's, how are you doing, my love? Are you feeling much better that we chopped your balls off? Are you feeling better after we chopped it off, Sean? <laughs> so he, hey, hey. <laughs> he needs to wear this cone for two weeks, which is so sad. But at least, hey, can you not get so close? But at least his thing, it, it's flimsy and it's soft, so it's more comfortable to wear. recording much because our life is very boring isn't it bill it's not mine oh your life is not boring no. what did you do today what did you do today sir nothing nothing so after yesterday after the board game we were gonna play card but his computer was messed up and it was not working why is my 260 i think i have mom on my chin we went to our favorite a vietnamese restaurant for lunch today i got vermicelli and bill's got some pho 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 <laughs> <laughs> and the dumplings so good and then as you can see bill's got some um pho to go we brought our own pot we brought our own pot which is so cool you literally you bring your own pot and they fill it up with their pho broth and then you take it home and they give you all the noodles and meats and stuff now we are going are you dead yeah, now we are gonna go grocery shopping maybe get a pumpkin spice latte i don't know it is September. It is very cold outside, very gloomy. Starbucks just came out with their pumpkin spice stuff. I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day, but I brought my book to lunch and I'm almost done. I've been reading in the car. I have, I think, 20 pages left. The ending was a bit of a twat. Twat? Twat? 
plot twist. I really like this book. I'm excited to start my new one that I showed you guys yesterday. We are here at Bucky. There's a fat line because everyone wants Starbucks. Everyone wants a pumpkin spice latte. We secured the goods. The lineup is even longer. Everyone's trying to get the pumpkin spice latte in. First pumpkin spice latte of the season! Holy that's really hot. I don't think I like pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> it's really sweet. Is it normally this sweet? He's so done with me. Taste test from Bills. I know you guys prefer him over me. Are you a basic are you part of the PSL club? Just PSL club, man. PSL, pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Do you like it? Are you vibing with it? It's pretty good. Oh my god, you're so freaking basic. He's a basic Starbucks girly. We are gonna go watch a movie now, Equalizer, but I forgot to show you guys Bills' new windows. There's Bills. I don't know what the- What the? Here's his tinted windows. It's not too tinted, so it looks pretty nice. That's what it used to look like, so. Tinted? Not tinted. Wilson Bear. <laughs> we are back home from the movie. The movie was whack. Someone's a little poet, right, Sean? Timbot? We're going to bed now. Thank you for watching this vlog. See you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>